What is up? All right, so we're headed to Oregon, and today is Monday, and we're heading to Oregon on Wednesday. So I'm super excited. We uh, this trip's been been planned for a little while now. I thought it was in July. Booked the wrong tickets. It's or I thought it was in June. It's really in July. So we're gonna take my V3X. Shoot it. So we're going out here with Mountain Ops and Cameron Haynes for a camp. I'm super stoked about it. So they called me and asked if I wanted to come out, and I was like, "When is it for?" Um, if you didn't know, I went to Oregon last year just to hang out and kind of intern with them. So now we're headed back out there to do this camp with Cam Haynes and. I don't know, so I'm super excited. I'm going to try to film as much as possible. Um, maybe do some boat builds while we're there, just for their customers and stuff. But uh, we're going to get to shoot and hopefully run and train with everybody. I know I'll be at the shop most of the time, but it'll be a good time. So I'll take you as we go. What is up, everybody? It's July 26th. It's 1.40 in the morning. And we're headed to Atlanta. We should be in Oregon by about 1.30. So, I'm super excited. I didn't sleep much last night. So, it's going to be a little bit of a drive. But, it's only about two hours. So, I'll see you guys when we get there. And we'll film some of the way. Alright, it's 2 o'clock. We made our first stop. We got gas. And my life way. This is this is how I live. So now we're straight road into Atlanta, um, and hopefully we can just make it straight there without having to stop again. So that's it. We'll see you on the way. So it is 5.45 and I made it inside. So I've got two hours before the plane boards. So I'm gonna take a, a nap because I did not sleep well last night because I was excited and I just couldn't sleep. So we're in, we're, we're halfway through the hard part. So we don't have much left. Now it's 7.25, we got about 15 minutes before the board. I just took the best nap that I've ever taken. Never. Prop my feet up, and just slept. So, we're almost there. 10 minutes before we take off. This, uh, this plane's so cold. Look at the freaking AC. <coughs> we just made it to Arizona. We got about an hour and 15 minutes before I've got to board the next plane. We made it this far. That's about all we got. But uh, the first flight was good. It was I mean, super smooth. Everything went well, so, so we're in. Uh, so, I just ate lunch. It's, well, I guess it's breakfast here. So it's 9.15 here, but it's 12.15 at home. So, technically this is the second time I've ate already today. I just got a, just got tagged in a post from the bow rack. They got my work bench ready. So, the bench that I'm gonna be setting everybody's bows up on while we're at this camp, so I can't wait, I'm so excited. All right, we're here, we're in Eugene. So, I gotta make a call. 
so that I can get picked up. Let's see. I'm just gonna call whoever texted me last. Alright, let's call Miss Lisa. Hey, hey, how are you? I did, I just Good. landed in Eugene. Okay, I'm on my way right now. It'll take me 15 minutes to get there. All right, it'll take me longer than that to get my bags and get yeah. outside, so. No worries, I will, um, they won't let me just sit out front. They're really, really watchdog about that. So I will text you when I get right there just to see if you got your stuff or not, and I'll kind of circle around if not. Okay, sounds great. All right, all right, I'm on my way. All right, thank you. you. Okay, right, bye. bye. All right. I'm here, everything's settled up. I gotta go get my bags. Um, the only thing I've gotta grab is my bow case. But yeah, so everything is done, traveling is done. I've been up for way too long. So, I'm excited. And it's all coming together, here we go. All right, I got all my bags, I'm about to get in the truck. I'm gonna put this camera away so I can just talk to people and I don't have to be all in the face with it. So, we will, uh, Probably won't film much more today. I'll probably film once I get back to the house this evening, but I'm just gonna go enjoy some time with some people, some good people, and then uh, we'll be back up tonight, and then you know we'll start filming the camp later. All right, so I just got done doing some grocery shopping. Um, just got a couple of things that I needed for the house. I am driving Miss Lisa's Jeep. They're so kind to, you know, invite me out here and then on top of that give me somewhere to stay and something to drive. So I love these people. They're they're some of the nicest people I've ever met. But and I don't know how I got in so good. It's just it worked out and but I'm very grateful and I want that to be known. But now we're gonna go back to the house, kinda get settled in for the night, and I'll film a little bit when I get there. But for the most part, today is over with. I I can't explain, you know, how grateful I am, how thankful I am for everything. And on top of that, just, you know, how everything works out and its timing. But we're going to get there. I'll film the barn dominium, the little barn house, a little bit of the farm. I thought somebody was beeping at me. And then... We'll start filming a lot of stuff probably tomorrow because I'll be at the shop tomorrow working. I set up a couple buzz today when I got in. And then the following day is when the camp starts, I believe. And we'll be at the farm setting up guys' bows for the Cam Haynes adventure with Mountain Ops. And I know Mountain Ops is coming out. Black Rifle's coming out. And then Easton is coming out. So that should all be really fun. And I just, you know, I can't wait to get into it. I should be at the house setting up bows for people. I'm pretty sure we're gonna, I'm gonna be one of the ones at the farm during the camp. I think that's all I have to tell you guys. Um, I'll film a little bit more when I get there. Flights went smoothly, everything went great. And I think that's it. So we're gonna go to the house and get settled in. And I'll, I'll film a little bit when I get there. And, and I'll stop today's vlog. Home sweet home. Finally made it. We're at the Indian Cup Farms. And this is one of the most prettiest, most beautiful places I've ever been. So if you've ever watched Cameron Haynes, this is uh, it's kind of a staple to his shooting. And if you've ever watched him, you'll kind of know this, this place. So this is where I'm staying. This is where he shoots at all the time. Super, super cool place. It's just, it's gorgeous. All right, so we're here. And this is the barn, targets, mountains, bunch of targets set up over here. 
gonna be a good time. Let's go check this place out. So, so many of you do not know how I got into or how I even met the Indian Cots and how all this worked out. So, what happened was I was sitting in the deer stand one day and I texted my dad and said, Hey, dad, what do you think about me going out and interning? with the Indian cots. And he said, well, that's a great idea. But uh, we didn't know if it was gonna work out. I've never spoken to him before. I'd never really had any communication with him other than, you know, maybe a couple of things on Instagram. And so I sent him a, an email and asked if I could come out and intern. And this was last summer. So I came out last summer and had a blast. I mean, I was here for two and a half weeks, loved every minute of it, stayed in the same place. And then I get a call from Miss Lisa, and she asked if I wanted to come back out for this camp. And I told her that I was booking plane tickets because I wouldn't miss it for the world. But this is what I get to experience while I'm here. This is, their, uh, this is the Red Barn. It's absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. And there's a little loft upstairs where I'll be staying. But you can't beat it. You can't beat it. So, that's how I got started with the Indian Cots. And they, I obviously did, you know, okay enough for them to invite me back. And I can't, I can't thank them enough because this is just, it's a dream come true. I'm, I'm getting to live out what I wanted to. And, you know, this is just, Everything I've ever wanted to do was to to shoot archery and to travel and you know to to see the to see the country. So that's this is where I'm at, and this is a uh, this is a big step. But we are uh, we're at the bow rack. All right, so I just got done with dinner. Um, really quick, I want to read. Just a quick verse that I think is uh, pretty special, pretty important. And it's Proverbs 16 and 9. It says, A man's heart deviseth his way, but the Lord directeth his steps. And I think that fits in perfectly with what I'm doing because, you know, without my heart being in it, you know, none of this would be possible. But outside of that, without the Lord directing my steps, then my success for this would never come. And the things I'm allowed to do and the things I get to do would never happen. So... You can you can want all you want, but without the Lord's direction and you know His perfection, it, it'll never happen. So that's my uh, verse of the night. So we're gonna get started bright and early in the morning. Probably sleep in just a little bit, just because I haven't slept much. And then we're gonna be at the shop most of the day tomorrow, tuning bows, and then the following day I'll start the camp. So I don't know how much filming I'll get done tomorrow, just because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to film customers coming in so that'll just be to be determined tomorrow morning but anyways it's been real it's been fun i'm so ready to go to sleep i love you guys good night